wrap it up. You're listening to AWOD here on the new Sports Radio 910, The Fan. Now, 105, 1 FM. People ask me all the time, how'd you get the name AWOD? Well, I wish I had a cool story for you guys, but I replaced Eric Wadden as the video producer of the Junkies. And my first day, they said, your name's Adam, you replaced Niwad, you're AWOD. And uh, I guess the legend grew from then. And I played cakes and one-on-one basketball and had so much fun working on the Junks for seven years in D.C. before coming here back to Richmond, my old stopping grounds where I went to school at VCU. And I've had a great time since taking over here in June. And college basketball season is here. It begins tonight. And I want to let everybody listening know right now that Odyssey Richmond is the number one stop for all college basketball fans. Virginia Tech games will all air on 96-1 throughout the season. VCU games right here on 910 The Fan and Big 98.5. And UVA games on WRVA as well as Who's Talking Mondays 6 to 7 p.m. But tonight... Uh, Frank Maloney and Jim Hobgood will be on from 5 to 6 p.m. And joining me right now to talk a little college basketball on the Hadid Mercer Rug Cleaning Hotline is my guy Marcus Mook Washington. What's going on, Mark? Hey, what's happening, my man? You know, this is a great day if you're a basketball fan. Like you said, to start a college basketball. For those who don't know, I'm also a high school coach. Today is actually the first day of tryouts at <laughs> high schools throughout Virginia. So, you know, it's one of those things where I get to be a coach and then I get to interview coaches later tonight. So I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I love that, man. It's my favorite time of the year. Let's start with the biggest storyline around the country, not including the local teams in the DMV. And I think it's got to be the UNC Tar Heels bringing back a Richmond guy and Armando Baycott and uh, Caleb Love and really a team that made it to the national title game brings back a ton of their starters. They're the biggest storyline in my book. What do you say? Yeah, and it's a setup for maybe to be a little bit disappointed. When you think about it this way, North Carolina brings back four starters on a runner-up team, right? But in the ACC alone, five different teams got first-place votes, yeah. which tells you just how tough their conference is. Nevertheless, the talent around the country for North Carolina is two things. It goes back to last year. One is going to be depth, and the guys that they bring in, uh, the freshmen that they brought in with Trimble and those guys, can they contribute and when can they contribute and help? Puff Johnson Big part of last year's team, but he struggled with injuries. He is already hurt again. I think he might be available tonight. I know he sat out their last um, their last scrimmage, last exhibition game. So with North Carolina, it's going to be, do they have the depth against the competition just in their conference, and can they stay healthy? If so, their commitment to defense that they showed at the end of last year, and frankly, better shooting and and shot selection by Caleb Love, Um, that team is going to be a tough out in March. What do you think of the Duke Blue Devils with new head coach John Shire? Well, it's the the freshmen, right? They have three big-time freshmen coming in there. Probably will start all three, but it could come down to the, the glue guy, which is Jeremy Roach. He is a DMV guy, team takeover, Paul VI, up here right outside of D.C. And, you know, It's one thing to be in that second chair, right? And it's one thing to be the primary recruiter. It's a different thing being in the first chair where you're the guy making the tough decisions on the guy that you recruited in. I think Shire will be fine. Um, He will have incredible success at Duke. The key will be if he, as the head coach, can continue the pipeline of the players that they're attracting now to continue to come to do this season. They're definitely going to be fine because as we have seen that staff as a whole has been able to develop freshmen to play immediately, even better than Calipari and Kentucky. So Duke will be fine, but Duke faces the same questions that North Carolina faces is that will those guys be able to do it night in night out in what is probably the toughest conference in America. All right, let's talk Hokies after winning the ACC tournament. Mike Young brings back a ton of talent. The problem, though, nobody, nobody will take them lightly this season. What do you think of the Virginia Tech Hokies? Hey, I'm glad you brought up uh, Young, one of the best coaches in the ACC that doesn't get nearly enough credit. It's going to come down to the transfers, specifically Grant Bysel from Wright State. He can score it, but can he rebound it? Can he play in this sort of defensive scheme, if he can, then 
Virginia Tech has that additional starter that replaces some of the guys that they lost, along with Justin Mutz. I know Mutz is out tonight serving the one-game suspension. But going forward, Virginia Tech, if they can play hokey basketball, which is very tough defensively, and then dominate boards, if they can do that, of course, they're going to be in it at the end, probably top five, maybe be one of those guys that are in that top four, so they're not playing on the first couple of days of the ACC tournament. But they do have some, some key pieces to replace. But if anyone can do it, it's Mike Young. On top of that, Mike Jones being associate head coach has already paid off. Uh, they have two freshmen down there that you might want to pay attention to, Rodney Rice out of DeMatha and, and Darren Buchanan out of Wilson, both out here in D.C. area. Uh, Jones's connection to DeMatha continues to work wonders along with uh, Young's ability to bring in and identify what is the perfect player for Virginia Tech. And that is underrated. When you consider where Virginia Tech is located, it being a football school, you got guys from North Carolina, North Carolina State, Wake Forest, all trying to grab guys. Virginia Cavaliers trying to grab guys. Yet he has been able to identify the people who fit in perfect in Blacksburg, and he has had success in the ACC because of it. Joined by Marcus Mook Washington on the Hadid Mercer Rug Cleaning Hotline. Follow him on Twitter, MTC with Mook, and you can check out his website as well, mtcwithmook.com. You mentioned Tony Bennett and UVA, and I think Tony Bennett, after Coach K is retired and, and UNC's coach in the last few years, he's probably the best coach in the ACC. It's tough to say, though, with Coach Laranega in there and Mike Bray at Notre Dame as well uh but they've got a lot of talent at uva this season some incoming freshmen they hope to turn it around this season yeah and it's it's going to be the guys coming back they they have the starters coming back they have um ohio forward uh ben venton uh transferred in but you you're right they have the four freshmen coming in trout mcnilly bond and dunn which one of those guys maybe one or two can they contribute early on to help build depth in at uva And three-point shooting percentage. Last year, UVA was 247th in the country. They have to be able to hit a three-pointer. As we saw in the National Championship game, having great defense helps. But it's having great defense at the right time of the game and getting enough stops. Kansas got enough stops to flip a deficit into a, a, a lead and then held on at the end. UVA's defense is not going anywhere. But it's going to be when they get those stops this season, can they take advantage of it on the offensive end to be able to flip a game that maybe you're down by seven or eight, and now you're up by five or six? Now, with the experience they have come back, you would think that would be the case, but they're going to have to shoot the ball better. And we're going to find out in their non-conference schedule. I mean, they have Baylor, Michigan, and Houston on their schedule, all three of Obviously, very good teams. Baylor is great defensively. Michigan is a good combo team, and Houston is great defensively. So we're going to learn a lot about UVA and and what they can do in the ACC and what they can do on the national stage. And UVA begins tonight when they face off against NC Central. VMI travels to Richmond to face off against University of Richmond. What's your perspective on U of R? I mean, last year, a tremendous run. In the A-10 tournament, winning the whole thing right in front of us, Mook, at Cap One Arena in D.C., but a totally bunch of uh, different guys for Coach Mooney this season. Yeah, it's going to be who can fit into that system. The wings and the guards in that system have to be able to pass. We saw how great uh, Grant Golden was being able to uh, make decisions at the top. And that's what's the challenge to the system of that cut and pass. I don't want to use the term Princeton system because I think that's completely overused, but what Moody runs there is the passes have to be the right read, and more importantly, they have to be on time. And it's going to be if the new guys will come in, how have they picked it up, how much does Mooney have already implemented, that's going to determine what sort of start uh, they will get off to. But I, what I think you will see, and they will pick seventh, the uh, finish in the Atlantic 10, which to me, with all that Richmond lost this year, that is a tip of the cat to how well Chris Mooney can coach. Because he is bringing in a lot of new guys in a system that not a lot of people run on the high school level, and they still think he's going to be able to get those pieces in the right place into that system. And I think what you'll see out of Richmond is that's a team that's going to get better as the season goes on. It's not going to be a situation where they necessarily get off to this big-time hot start, but even if they don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't panic. 
It's one of those ones that you're going to see in January, get into February. You're going to see how good Richmond can be. And I've got a VCU basketball preview coming up next. That was Marcus <laughs> Mook Washington. Thanks so much, man. We'll have to do it again during the season. You're my ACC guy. All right. Thank you very much, my man.